Hey, what's up guys, Broomzy here, and here's some highlights I got from Bengal sub event. So to start out with, Kool-Aid left his doors open like always, and managed to trap an epic gamer inside of the space, and the village decided to throw me in there with a DB and see what I could do. I popped him once with a DB, and we got all of Kool-Aid's loot back. After that, I defend the village again from uh, two P2 boys, pretty epically, by headshotting one right in the face with a double barrel, oh, shit. then picking up his P2 and taking out his friend. Once the village was safe for the day, most of the team went to sleep, so I decided to go roam and get some resources. On my way back, I ran into Aromatic Beast, one of my epic gamer friends, but uh, he wasn't on the team, so I made this reenactment of how he met. Welcome to the ranch, fucker. Zoom! It was you, you little shit! After catching up with the mad lad, we decided to form an epic gamer team because we were pretty much the only two people on. And while all that was happening, I got creeped up on by two guys with DBs and revolvers. I died, but Aromatic ended up killing them. And then a little bit later, they tried to take a heli outside of my base. I was just a second too late, almost got them. They decided to hover over my base for two minutes. I popped one in the head with a revolver, which scared them off and made them fly back to their base. We followed them there, and right when we got there, they started upgrading their base. We shot their wall so they couldn't upgrade those certain ones. Then we pushed up and found that it was all twig. I shot through with a shotgun and noticed that all of their furnaces were cooking. I got through the wall, then started shooting the hazzy that was inside. I downed him with a DB and finished him with a revolver. After that, his friend came up behind me. I got him with a revolver too. And I was pretty much out of shotgun ammo and only had one clip left with a revolver. And I got down to a guy with a knife. Wow. Thankfully, Aromatic was right behind me and he downed the guy who got me. He picks me up, I go back to try and help out. I headshot a guy with a revolver, but get stabbed in the back by a sword. Oh fuck, I can't believe you've done this. I start heading back with a Nyoka. Sorry about the audio quality for some of these clips. I was trying on a new recorder and yeah, it was pretty bad. <laughs> I got one! Ah, the other one got me. Yo, get over there, their fucking walls are down. Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> After that, Aromatic arms me with a revolver and we return once again. We shoot the walls again so they can't upgrade so we can burn through. After that, we hear him taking off in a heli, so we take some pot shots at him. Fuck! 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 Oh! One of them jumped out behind a rock, so I rush him with my Yokos. I miss my first shot, but I take a whole bunch of damage, so I fall back, hop on top of the rock, and finish him with a revolver. I get down while looting, but the guy doesn't finish me, so Aromatic picks me up once again, I get all my loot back, and I heal up. After that, we loot up the rest of the bodies that were on the ground, take some more shots so they don't shoot us in the back, and try and get a better angle. Once we're up top, I flank around to get behind him, shoot him a few times, get shot myself, and end up downing one of them. Aromatic kills the other one, and then I boost him up on the roof so I can burn through, and then I cover him while he loots the furnaces. While covering them, I steal some of their crops. Aromatic finishes looting, and then we run back to my base to divvy up the loot. We got everything we brought over there, including our hazies and guns, as well as some extra wooden metal, which I desperately needed. So all in all, very nice, very nice. Once I depoted that, I went to the coast, then filled up a boat, and went to harbor to go get a blue card. I hit some barrels, do the puzzle, and on my way out, I see a madman pointing a spear at me. I go over there and show him my very shiny double barrel, and see it was one of the guys camping the village. So very nice coincidence. I go home, put his crude in the refinery to get some fuel for my chainsaw, skin all of my gross not skinned items, and I go counter an Eoka raid. I killed the first two guys, one came back trying to get his loot. You picked the wrong house, fool! I got him too, and I ran back to base to depot. I go back to see if I missed anything, and to my surprise, there's a man in there with a torch. I sneak up, jump in the doorway, and then unload an entire mag into him. <laughs> Turns out he was stacked. I take everything from the base, run home as fast as I can, and then I sort loot for a bit. That was the last play of the night. The next day, first thing I did was get a box full of wood, depoted it, and then went out for more. The village downed someone, so I ran over as fast as I could so I could chop him up with a chainsaw while laughing maniacally. After that, we heard cargo, so I dropped everything, found a boat, and picked up Kool-Aid. Go, go Trayvon! Kool-Aid and I take cargo, and I see D spawned a medical syringe, so I throw grenades at him to punish him. Once we got everything from cargo, we went to Recycler to get some extra crispy scrap. We depot all of that, and then me and Tip go on a ridiculously long run. At the very end of it, we end up at water treatment, and we get shot at as we open up the door. Somehow both of us manage to get inside alive. I heal up, open the door, and then I mow him down as he tries to headshot me. 
We take his gear, recycle some components, that was probably a dumb idea, and then we go to take off and we get fucking mowed down by like three or four dudes. By the time all that was done, cargo is out again, and we get countered by some angry pirate boys. All of us collectively open fired on the boat and they either died or reconsidered. Once we got the crates and returned back to base, it was time to burn down some of our unwelcome neighbors. After burning this man alive, I got some scrappables from the small box, and I pretty much made back all my fuel from the 70 crude in the TC. This base thought it was slick by putting up a sheet metal door. After that, we went to a small sheet metal base with a wooden door. We burned through the first one, then I get hit by a bow. Kool-Aid takes him out, but the group tells us to stop raiding because apparently one of us already raided this base. We pull up to another base that had a twig floor. We broke that, but we couldn't get in, so we started burning through the door. Not long after that, we heard someone talking in game chat. Guys, burn! Burn! Let me burn him! Let me burn him! Burn! 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 Yes! <laughs> After that, it was time to get back to work. This one had a sheet door, but thankfully the owner of this base had a very large brain and left it unlocked. It's open. It's open. 190 crew. Luckily, all these bases had a huge amount of crude oil that we could refine into more fuel to burn down more bases. Once everything was cooking, you could hear Bangles calling me back out to burn down some more bases. Obviously, this is an offer I couldn't turn down, so out I went to go burn down the rest of our neighbors. Up next was a small 2x1 next to the base me and Aromatic messed with yesterday. Burn! Stay! Yes, burn good. Ooh, components. Ooh, ooh! <laughs> what? Burn! Bangles. We can burn the world! Burn the world! And so a new quest was started. To burn the world. He tried to yoke at me. Might have to burn him for that. Okay. He has been sufficiently burned. Oh, wait, you guys, there's a body here. You didn't even tell me. I have to burn it! Wait, what? Help. Oh, hello! There's a naked here. Uh, here, I'll help oh, you, I'll help you. I'll help you. Here, look at the light. Look at the light. Burn! This game is so chaotic. Oh hey, it's I you! Burn! Burn! I only have some. T I Burn! Only have oh, no. No. Burn! Yes! I will burn TC. I'm going to burn it. Ooh, three bullets. Hold on, wait. I gotta burn. There we go. Bengals, I'm gonna be honest. I really like burning people. Here's a prime example of a big brain play. A full sheet metal base with a wooden front door and the sheet metal door being left open. Pure genius. To celebrate all of our epic profit, we did a little light show with our flamethrowers. After that, we continued our quest to burn the world. 
We saw a guy run into his base on the mountain, so we followed him up there, laddered up to the base, and burnt through the only two remaining pieces of wood. Hey man. Burn. What's down there? <laughs> Push him down. Everyone come over here and jump on him. <laughs> if this fucking works. And so another quest was started, to get through a very small hole. <laughs> well, he's in. <laughs> <gasps> Ooh! <laughs> I think he got a little deeper. He got oh, yeah. it. He's, he's getting deeper. He's getting deeper. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> Quest completed. After that, some people tried to stop us from burning the world. Where is he? Headshot him. Go loot him. Go loot him. <laughs> Guys, it's our best friend. Killed one. Is that a twig base? It is a twig base. Twig base is gone. <laughs> oh, there's a man in it. Hold on. There's a man! After we burn down every possession the man had, we take a scrap heli, fly over to outpost, buy some jackhammers, go to the snow, get some inventories full of ore, and then we go back, drop it all off, and start cooking it up. Then we go to oil, cause the scientist so much pain he has an out of body experience, take cargo once again, and have some fun with F1 grenades. Mangles, look out! Mangles! <clears throat> it's uh hmm. once we bring the loot home safe the village is under attack by a whole bunch of full metal guys i get sniped and shot at so i hide behind a rock one pushes me i take him out and i get mowed down by an ak guy thankfully we had an epic sniper keeping them down and we managed to take them all out which got us bolty full metal sets ak and 24 satchels that they were going to use on kool-aid space after that here's someone doing in a yoker raid and decide to counter Once I killed him, we decided to continue his raid with his own yoga and shells. Unfortunately, we didn't have enough, so I just had to bring out the flamethrower again. On the way back, I heard one of our teammates talking to someone in a gas station. Hey, sir! No! Don't take it! That's one. There you go. <laughs> I'll burn this whole place down, damn it! Once I felt everything was sufficiently burned, we went back to the base with the TC and boxes, then we went home to depot. I made some explosive ammo and grabbed some fuel to do some sheet metal door raids. But before we could do that, I had to check on a base they told me not to raid. Oh, <laughs> you had a flame trap. Do you think it would take the drain of flame trap? Oh shit, is it out already? Yeah, <laughs> it's out already. Yeah, I'm in the base. Full loot. Pretty good, pretty good. Nice. You need stone? 200 crude, my man. This is the one that uh, Bengals told me not to raid, but, but I knew better. Once I could rest easy knowing that I got all the epic loot I deserved, Kool-Aid and I searched the surrounding area for any epic sheet metal door raids. After we broke in, all of the boxes and TC were locked, so they left me no choice but to burn down literally everything. What the fuck is this? 
Now, as you can see, I was a little confused because my IQ wasn't high enough to understand the uh, big brain play that the base owner was doing here. But yeah, I guess leaving the only door to your base open and leaving your TC stacked with shit is uh, a good strat. Good strat. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, look at all those frags and the sulfur. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Next, we burnt down this base just because we were sick of looking at it and decided to get TC2 because fuck it, why not? Next, we returned to another base that thought they were going to stop us by putting up a sheet metal door. That's definitely a shotgun trap. We get through the shotgun trap, loot TC, and get all the extra crispy boxes. Ooh, 14 fucking gears? Hell yeah! The reason I was hyped about the gears is now I could finally upgrade all my doors to armored ones. So yeah, good day. We depot all the loot from all the bases, then we head back out again. Oh shit. I think I may have found an easy base raid. Did we get fucking TC? We got TC. <laughs> you big dummy. Big dumb dumb. One around, more like dumb. <laughs> After I arguably make the best joke of 2019, we take our 500 sulfur and burn the man alive. All right, we can leave. <laughs> As we were looking for more bases, I got headshot by an L96, Koik got down by an AK, but somehow he managed to bargain for his life back. I go back over and have a very friendly chat with the man that just headshot me, and then he kills himself. How many hours do you have in the Yeah, like, not that much, like, a few thousand. What are you guys at? 700. I barely have fucking 300. Yikes. Well, I'll be back here next wife. Maybe. I'm not sure. But, yeah, I'm out. It... <laughs> have fun. Bye bye, Did he guy. just kill himself? What the fuck? <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> you get the L9? Alright. All in all, a pretty cool dude, and we do end up seeing him in the next wave. We decided to roam with the gear sets he gave us, and we do some final raids with the satchels the other guys brought to us. But little did I know, I was one terrible joke away from death. Hey! My man. Lemon man? More like dumb. Ha! <laughs> got him! Oh, I got him. Woo! One around, more like dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Killed one? Burn! Burn! Yes! <laughs> Burn! Hit him, hit him. Fuck, you gotta get there, bud. But cool, I didn't get there. So, rip gear set and AK. After that, we could have done more flame raids, but it honestly didn't seem worth it because we had so much shit in base. So for the rest of the night, we crafted C4, full metal gear sets, AKs, all that shit. And at the end, we had a little over 20 C4 for a big ass raid the next day. We even tried to see if we could like schedule a time to raid someone so they could defend it. <laughs> but I go to log on the next day and uh, this happens. Last day of the wipe. Wait a second. Wait a second. Bro, I fucking wiped while I was asleep. Fuck! Hey, what's up guys? Zoom B here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like to let me know that this is the content you want to see. And if you want to see more of my videos, you can click on the card on screen now or subscribe and hit the bell. Next, I want to say thank you to all the channel members. If you also want to contribute, there will be a link down in the description. And finally, I want to give a special thanks to our God Tier Gamers, Big Jason Music, Mr. Bangles, Moon Moon TM, and a person named WD. Here's a quote by one of our epic gamers. <laughs> thanks a ton, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.